The topic of today was calorie consumption, and we've have we talked about because it is only you right now, so I definitely want to make it more specific. Um, have we done a uh, like 3,500 calories at one pound? Have we went out and tracked your calories yet, or were we waiting to actually do that down the road? We didn't want to get too serious. Well, I think we were waiting to do that too. So basically, yeah, that's what I thought because I, I knew we didn't want to do all at once. That's something that's very huge, obviously, that we talked about. I was like, not not doing everything at once because if you throw like let's say you have this is a uh, where it comes from um, a garden full of weeds right and like you have like a garden full of weeds and you and you go to the store the garden store you know you're looking around for the weed killers you know and you find like five good ones so you get all five of them you spray all five of them and the weeds are gone well how do you know which one of those worked you know exactly so that's why I don't like giving clients everything at once. I like giving them, all right, let's let's do the workouts. If they can't even do the workouts, then it's just an accountability problem, right? It's just an accountability issue. If they can do the workouts, if you've been crushing the workouts, all right, let's go on to the next thing, track calories. All right, we're tracking calories. We've been tracking this whole time. Great. Now let's get to the minute details of like, all right, this is how many calories you should eat. Because imagine if I threw all that at you at once, you'd be like, oh my God, like, this is too much. Like, what is he? What is he doing? Like, I have to work out. I have to track my my workouts, my reps, my weight. I have to track my calories. It's just a lot at once. So just a, one one week kilo at a time. <laughs> and then if, if that doesn't work, then you get another one. But the, but then you at least know what works and what doesn't work. That was just my little tangent spiel there. But basically, for calorie consumption, the first thing we want to find out is your BMR. And I will do this for you. Actually, I'll just do this for you right now. Uh, what is a uh, base metabolic rate. So base metabolic rate, BMR is basically ha how many calories we burn per day with zero activity. So if we were to lay on the bed all day, that's how many calories we'll be burning. So your BMR, I'm gonna calculate it on the phone here because um, luckily they have an easy password. So BMR calculator, you can just go online and look up BMR calculator, there's a website for it. Um, it's literally, I think, bmrcalculator.com if I'm correct you. Uh, calculator.net. So calculator.net, um, what's our age? 25, um, and our height is, so we're gonna calculate. Our BMR is 1565, okay? So basically that means we burn, with doing nothing, 1565 calories a day. With sedentary, like little or no exercise, like going to work, getting groceries, doing that kind of stuff, 18, I'm not, you don't have to remember these other ones because I don't really go based on these. 1878, so it raises about 200 calories. One to three times of exercise, 2151, so an extra 300, 200, 300. If you went exact, when you work out, that's why I also tell people like, sometimes you just need to not worry about the diet first and just start to exercise because one, your endorphins will increase, you'll feel better, and two, you're gonna be bur burning more calories you don't have to necessarily focus on the food yet, but because you haven't been working out and because you're not eating as well as you want to, just working out is going to be a huge help. And it's easier than changing your whole diet and changing that stuff at first. And then when you start working out, your body's going to want different types of foods, so it'll be easier to change the foods. So yeah, and then let's say we worked out five times a week. We go from 1565 to 2292. So it's almost about, it's over a 500 calorie increase just from working out five times a week. That's like a, that's like, that's like, that's like two slices of pizza right there. It's like with, with ranch or something. <laughs> right well 100 100 percent pizza was just pizza was just uh if you're gonna go healthy food then you can have a lot of healthy food but some people i know who's gonna be watching this later so i just want to give them a little a little uh a little encouragement to start working out so they can have the two slices of pizza yeah <laughs> but i know us we're uh we're, we're past that stage but again sometimes we get the white claws you know, it's an extra five white claws. So that's 1565 is that. And basically working out five times a week is gonna increase it basically 100 calories per day to 300 calories per day. So depending on, or sorry, 500 calories per day, which equals to, if you cut times that by five, um, 2,500 calories in the whole week, which is almost a pound. Fifth, I'm just gonna do an average of 15, you know, let's just go 1,600. You know, on average, that's about the base average of, say, 1,600. Um, that is based off of a day, right? So if we want to gain a pound or lose a pound, one pound is 3,500 calories. So let's say we wanted to lose, you know, a pound a week. We'd have to be at a calorie deficit of 3,500 calories by the end of the week. Got my calculator out because this math starts to get a little too many numbers here for the top of my head. 3,500 calories divided by seven is 500 calories per day. We need to be at a deficit. So if we... Like, 
Like I was just telling Bernadette, if we work out five times a week, we will up our base metabolic rate by about three to 500 uh, each day. So right there, we can lose a pound a week, right? Just by exercising every day and keeping our nutrition um, in check and just eating the same amount of calories. Now, if we wanted to, to lose two pounds per week, right? If we wanted to lose two pounds, 3,500 times two, right? Third, one pound, two times per week is 7,000 calories. So just by the end of the week, we need to be at negative 7,000. And if I'm losing you guys, just give me, say, Malik, just stop what you're doing. Um, and then 7,000 divided by seven is 1,000. So we need to be at a calorie deficit of 1,000 per day to lose two pounds per week. Now, going back to our base metabolic rate, we're already at negative 1,600, right? But because we're working out, we're gonna eat, obviously, we're gonna eat about 2,000 calories, maybe more. So let's add 2,000 calories. Let's just, this is based off of averages here. I'm gonna go plus 2,000 calories to our base metabolic rate. So we haven't even included the exercise yet, just our base metabolic rate. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. So the 1,600 is our base metabolic rate. So there's three numbers. There's the base metabolic rate, which our body burns without doing any exercise. If you were to lay in bed all day, our body's still burning calories because we need to stay alive. So that's our BMR, that's number one. And then our, our second number is how many calories we're consuming. So this is our plus number. So plus 2,000, plus 1,800, plus 2,200. That's our plus number. And then we need to have another negative number, which will, it's a variable, which will be our exercise. But at the end of that equation, we know that we need to be minus 1,000 to, to, be, to be losing two pounds a week or minus 500 at the end of the day to be burning one pound per week. So if we have this equation, I'm gonna show you guys the equation right now. 1600, which is the BMR, right? If you guys look at that middle, that middle section, oh, that middle section right there, right here. So BMR is negative 1600. Now let's say we add, I'm just gonna go 2000 just to make the math easy. So this is food, right? So we add to, we add 2000. Now another minus will be our exercise, but that will be dependent because we know the total number needs to be negative 1000 for two pounds a week or negative 500. This is the bottom equation. So for two pounds a week, we need to be at 1000 negative. For one pound a week, we need to be at negative 500 a day. So with our BMR and our food, we're at plus 400, right? We're at plus 400 so far. So that means we need to burn a lot of calories for the 400, we need to burn 900 for the for the 500. Do you guys see that? So let's say we want to burn one pound a week. That would equal if we had minus 900 in exercise. Exercise also comes with your day-to-day, -day. like if you're walking around, you're burning calories throughout the day. The 1600 is literally if you're laying in bed not doing anything. So you're burning 300 calories just walking around. So basically it'd be like 600 calories of exercise. So 300 calories during the day walking around. So 600 with the exercise. Or negative 1400 if we wanted to burn the 1000 calories for two, two pounds a week. Does that make sense? A little bit. Let's go with, and please tell me if it doesn't so I can also clarify. So I would love to clarify. I'm gonna do a little bit, um, a little bit easier one. Now that's just base metabolic rate if we're not doing, uh, if we're not doing much. Five minutes here, right, Burn? All right. Um, so let's just go based off of, you know, you two are both exercising a lot, so I'm gonna kind of base it off your guys' BMR. Um, on average, is probably around 1800. Okay, so negative 1800 BMR. So I have that number right there. BMR 1800. Now, if we want to burn two pounds a week, I would say, because I'm gonna leave food blank, and I'm gonna leave exercise blank for right now, but at the end of all that, we want to be negative 1,000, negative 500 and negative 1,000 by the end of the day. If we're eating 1,800 calories, we're at zero, right, because our base, metabolic, both of your base, base metabolic rates are probably around 1,800. So if we're eating 1,800 calories, we're at zero. So whatever our exercise is for that day, means that that's how much of we, you know, have like a lighter day where we just walk and, you know, run. Um, maybe we uh, do a little bit of stretching, right? We burn 500 calories that day. That's gonna be a, a one pound a week loss rate. But if we work out hard, we do a long run, we sweat a lot, maybe we walk later that evening or we, you know, work out hard in the gym, break down the muscle a lot, and we can burn a thousand calories well, that right there is going to help you burn the two pounds per week. Those are basically the, the four numbers that I go based off of when I'm tracking people's calories and adjusting them as we go through the program. What's your BMR? What's our goal? How much are we exercising? All right, we got this. Now, how much food can we eat and how much do we have to exercise to hit that goal? Does that kind of make, make sense? So I... I recorded that. I will put that on the uh, group as I do the other videos. Um, I record on my camera. 
And then uh, next time, I'm gonna go over.